so much for joining us today. Um, I just wanted to say congratulations on your nomination for the Wet Tech Academy Award. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So I'm just going to get to know you a little better and how our students or prospective students get to know you a little better as well. So give us a little background of your journey and how you got started in the industry. Okay, so how I got started in the industry was about um, oh, mid-2016, I was working in education. And I, I, like so many others, I just wanted more. I was yearning to do something different. I was going through my second master's and, it, and my job wasn't fulfilling. I'd always like planning and party planning and um, helping friends with events. And I decided, I saw a little ad on Facebook about longevity and I decided to take the course. And I said, this will be easy enough. It's 12 weeks. You know, I can do this course and maybe I'll do some event planning on the side. Well, that 12 week course opened my eyes to this phenomenal industry um, of weddings and events. And I grew from being a planner to now doing planning and floral design and working with so many of the people that I admire in the industry. Um, and, I, and, and longevity has been just an enormous part of my journey. Um, going from taking the 12 week course to making connections with a lot of my peers that were in class, but also making connections with my instructor and other instructors um, within, I took the course in New York, um, within New York as well as outside of New York. I met people in Texas, I met people in LA, um, and going to the internships have also been just instrumental in my career because it's giving me a platform to actually see where see what the possibilities are for me working with other people it shows me where i aspire to be yeah and i see that you graduated lehman college right i'm sorry uh which college did you graduate from uh, which one did i go to i can't even remember it it was in queens i, I, I can't okay. remember <laughs> okay yeah and i do see that um there are a couple of internships that you've done so Tell us a little bit more about your experience with those internships. So I see you did the uh, Basili, the floral design. Yes. Uh, internships, give us a little more about. So um, the first internship I did was with David Tatera with the Your Wedding Experiences. I believe I did two of those internships. Those were great. Um, you know, David's one of the best in the business. And I was excited to actually do that internship um, because it gave me a behind the scenes look at exactly how like a workshop takes place a live event takes place um the second internship that i did it, it really was a springboard to my uh floral business now um me doing the floral design internship with beastly vasquez was so instrumental to my business because I don't believe without that internship, I do not believe I would be where I am today. Um, Beasley has become a mentor to me. Um, my shift has gone from planning um, predominantly to floral design. And to this day, she's someone that I can lean on and it, it, I wouldn't be where I, where I am today without that internship. I know that that was the, the trajectory of my career that made a turn. Yeah, that's so good to hear. Yeah, and that yeah. you have such a great mentor that you can, you know, look up to and that helps you so much with your business. Um, so who are your role models? I know you mentioned Beasley and I know you love her, but who are your role models and why? So Beasley, yes, definitely one of my role models. Um, in, I, it's so weird. Let me see. So a lot of my role models come from inside of longevity. Um, I don't, this is not a longevity campaign, for, but it really, really has like Abiki Carter being one of the first um, instructors that you know I, I encountered. She has been instrumental in just helping me navigate the the events world. Uh, never took a class with Jacqueline Vasquez, but we've connected on so many levels and um, she's given me a lot of the confidence that I need. Cho has just, 
seeing what she created with Longevity has been an inspiration to me and wanting to build a community. Uh, I have a, a workshop that I do called Lu Luxury Blooms Experience, and it's really fashioned after um, a lot of the things that Cho has implemented into Longevity. Just the the community building aspects of it and really genuinely wanting to help people. Uh, I made a great connection with um, when I did an internship with David Tatera in New York at the Tribeca rooftop. Uh, he brought along his former assistant, Slimmy Carlo. She has become a mentor now, and I, I admire her so much being a black woman in the industry. Um, you know, there, there are certain things that, that we go through um, that are different from other women. Women in general have, have a, a hard time, but I believe that being um, different ethnicities will also have a, a, a difficult time navigating through this industry. I took a class with Kevin Lee um, through Longevity, and he gave his experience with being an Asian man and being a... Um, Oh, I'm so sorry. I lost my train of thought. But just being someone who's not from this country, being an immigrant, so to speak, um, and coming here and just honing his craft, he's been super ins inspirational to me. Uh, and all of that has been through, you know, the common denominator has been longevity, absolutely, for me. Yeah, and we have such a diverse network, so it makes it so much easier. And I feel like, you know, you, are, you our alumni, are making a change for us. So it's pretty great. Thank Thank you. Also, are there any future goals that you would like to share with us? Future goals. Um, I want to make my platform bigger to help people who are, you know, were inexperienced like I was a few years ago. I want to be able to help them. That's what the Luxury Blooms experience is all about. It's, it's showing them that, you know, you guys can do it. I was in in a total different field two years ago. I would have never imagined that I would be actually, hello, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm actually doing some of the things that I'm doing now, but with the right coaching and the right support, I was able to, you know, move forward and, and just trust myself enough. So I've had accountability partners along the way, and I've had people holds me to task um, along the way. And I want to really be that for someone else. Um, my biggest step, my biggest next step and biggest goal for 2020 is to do things internationally. That's one of the things that I would really love to do, be it a wedding or event or, you know, take my, my workshop abroad. That's really something that I'm working on. And that's a goal for me to really just go out and do something internationally and get out of my comfort zone and step away from just the U.S. market. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. that is a huge step, and I can't wait to see where you go from here. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank and you. Those are about all of the questions that I have for you. It was such a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you, too. Yeah, and I'm so excited for your future. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it so much.